Well, hello there. It's Chad, and I'm excited to be able to bring you these four part videos on Helix Native, part one, not at launch, part two, read the manual, part three, installation for the PC and the Mac, and then part four, automation, and it's way cool. So, without further you know, explanation, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that are not at launch <clears throat> and uh, some of the frequently asked questions. Now, when it comes to what this is, it's a plugin that you use in your DAW. It will emulate the Helix and all of the effects that are with the Helix. Um, at this note, it's to 2.2, but I think it handles the 2.2. Uh, two one. It has all the models. So there's that. <clears throat> is there a demo version to try out? Yes, there is a demo version that will be fully featured that you can try out for 15 days. Now, if you want a refund on your uh, purchase, you have 30 days. That's one of the things. And the system requirements will be in the description. So... And also, not only the system requirements, but <clears throat> that of the uh, what DAWs it will work with. And uh, the link will be in the description. All right. Question, will Helix work with iLock? There is no licensing available through the iLock. It is authorized on the first run of the plugin. Just log in with your Line 6 username and password and click Authorize Computer. How many computers can I run it on? Four. Now, if you have more computers that you need to, you can actually log in, deauthorize one of your computers and authorize it. Say you're at a friend's house and you, you wanted to get it uh, working there. You know, feel free to, to do this. Just know that you have to deauthorize it when you, know, when you leave. All right. All right, the cost. Okay, if you have nothing to do with the Helix, the uh, Helix Rack or the Helix LT, it's $399. If you have the Rack, or the floor unit, it'll be $99. If you have the LT or Pod Farm Platinum, it'll be $299. And if you have uh, Pod Farm Standard, and you'll you'll need proof, proof of purchase, but um, it'll be $349. If you have any issues with uh, activations, you need to make sure and you contact Line Six. Can customers keep native if they return an eligible product? The answer is yes, if you pay the difference. <clears throat> it's in yellow. If a customer purchases a returned product that has already used the Helix native license, what will happen to the Helix native license? If a customer purchases a returned eligible product as new, and is having difficulty with the purchase of Helix, Helix Native at the discounted price, contact customer support at line six. All right. How many amp models will be available at launch? Well, I believe all that are available on Helix, it says 62 amps, 37 cabs, 16 mics, and 101 effects. This is equivalent to the firmware 2.21. Okay, so here's the not at launch stuff. All right, will the Helix Control work with Helix Native connected via USB or the FBV controllers? The answer is not at this time or not at launch. Question two. Will Helix Native support external MIDI for patch changes or parameter control? Not at launch. 
Will there be updates for Helix Native like there is with Helix Hardware? This is very important. Their goal is to update models simultaneously in order to keep compatibility with Helix Hardware. <clears throat> Will the UI be resizable? Not at launch. They're working on it. Will Helix Native support Retina displays two times resolution? And you guessed it, not at launch. Will there be a redo, undo functionality? Not at launch. Now it's to be, to be determined. Some DAWs can use a compare AB to get around this. Now, um, later on, I'll get into a little bit about Reaper. And I did some testing, and there is some cool stuff. So, will Helix Native support snapshots? And you guessed it, not at launch, but they're working on it. Will Helix Native have a built in tuner? Not at launch. Now, a lot of the DAWs have their own tuner, so. Will there be a standalone version? Ooh, drum roll, please. Not at launch. All right. Are PodFarm presets compatible? No, they're different. Will Helix Native presets be compatible with my Helix hardware? Yes, at the time of writings, they, uh, this, they were 2.2, but um, I don't know the firm answer on that, but I do believe that you can use your 2.21 uh, presets because I was able to. So, some things that won't work at this point, or that's different because it's your DAW. One, you have um, meters on here, which are cool. But the input and output routings will be passed through the DAW channel in and out, sending paths 2A to 2B works. Noise gate is functional from the input block. Variac settings are ignored. Guitar Z is ignored. Global parameters will not be accessible in the plugin. Global EQ is not available in the plugin. Send and return blocks are ignored, bypassed in the plugin. IRs are supported, but must be stored in the impulse folder locally on the computer. Bypass assignments and controller assignments are ignored, are, are extend, in, instead triggered by incoming MIDI commands and or automation channels. See Helix MIDI specs. So, command center is not available in the plugin. So. Thanks for watching. Um, I think there is a lot of things that are not at launch, and I know there's going to be a lot of people who go, does it have this? Does it have that? And I'm going to be forwarding them this video, not at launch. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two coming after you click. No. Stay tuned. Be sure to watch part two, three, and four. It's enlightening. Thank you. Have a good day.